the burning monster fell to the ground, and this gut feeling it just couldn't shake. This guy was a mere pawn. He was behind the fires, all right. But who was behind him? What the hell? This is not over. All will burn. What the hell was that thing? What's that? It's a cot. I should call Marv and fill him in. Adam, what's the status? I got him. Whatever that guy was, he was no ordinary human. I guessed as much. That's why we called you in on this one. Supernatural is your thing. I'll send a team to your location to set up the scene. Go home, Adam. You did good. Marv was pleased. Me? Couldn't shake off the feeling that the fat has hit the fire. There was nothing more I could do that night. <sighs> Sleep would bring me little comfort. I knew the nightmare that was waiting for me all too well. Same as every night. And there she was. My sister Allie. And her disappearance, which... keeps haunting me. In my dreams, I'm reaching out to her. She always slips through my fingers. Something wasn't right. Things were not where I left him last night. I had a visitor while I was asleep. A visitor who left clues. seems out of the ordinary here, but I'm sure the thief tampered with this area. Well, my visitor left a package for me, hidden behind the drawer. The moment I held it in my hands, I simply knew this will change everything. A watch. Why would someone leave me a watch? Hmm, time is not set. 
That's a strange symbol. There's some marks on the paper. 